in this tutorial, uh, we're going to take our skills from the previous two tutorials. In the first one, we learned how to uh, make a ring uh, using the Boolean modifier. In the second one, we created a table, uh, and we also used the bevel modifier. In this one, we're going to take it one step further and create a slightly more complicated mesh or complicated model. This is going to be a coffee cup that's going to look something like this. And it really has uh, three elements, which is the cup itself, the handle that we're going to attach to it, and the saucer, the, the plate. So let's get started. I'm going to start a new project. And as all new projects, it starts with a cube. I'm going to right click and delete that cube. The first object I will create, and at first it might look odd, is a sphere. So add mesh and it's uh, out of the two kinds of spheres that come with Blender, it's going to be a UV sphere. Just like we discussed before, as soon as you uh, create an object, it's got all kinds of objects about the create uh, uh, options about the creation of that object, which come up only once. So I'm going to take advantage of that, make it uh, let's say 64 vertices, and I'm not changing you know the number of rings or anything like that. Um, I'm going to look at this sphere from the side and use my mouse wheel to um, get closer. Now, for the first time in this series of tutorials, we're going to change from object mode, which is where we were all along, into something called edit mode. When I change to edit mode, it should select all the vertices, which means you know they all look kind of um, orange. But if for some reason I click outside, it deselects them, and I need them all selected. So the key shortcut A, you don't have to hold anything with A, just A. The keyboard shortcut A uh, selects all the vertices. And in edit mode, there's a bunch of tools. And the one we're going to use today is called the bisect tool. The bisect tool is under the knife tool. It's right here. Not the knife, although it seems like, you know, we need the knife, but it's really the bisect tool. The bisect tool, I'm going to make sure I'm looking at my sphere perfectly from the side. It doesn't even matter which side, but it perfectly from the side, not from above, but from the side. And I'm going to take my bisect tool and I'm going to cut this uh, sphere in half. The way I'm going to do it is hold with the left mouse click from the outside and go all the way to the other side but you see how i can veer a little you know up and down and that's going to make the cut not exactly you know horizontal so by holding control on the keyboard it forces it see now it snaps to the next uh point in the grid this way i can make sure that by the time i let go of both the control and the mouse that it actually cut a nice vertical cut along the center of the sphere. But I don't need both halves. I need only one. The top one is called the outer. So I'm going to click clear outer on this window. And if I move this around a little bit, I'll see that I actually have like a ball. Then I'm again going to look at it from the side, press A again. So it selects all the vertices because I want to shave off and make the uh, bottom kind of flat. So again, I'm going to use the bisect tool. I'm going to make sure that everything is selected again with A. This time I'm going to cut along, let's say, that last line of the, you know, before the bottom uh, of the of the sphere. Again, I'm starting to move the line until it looks more or less good to me. And then I'm going to hold control, which is going to make it snap exactly to, you know, the perfectly horizontal line. This time, when I let go of both control and the mouse, uh, I'm going to get rid of the inner one, which is the bottom, but I'm also going to click fill. Let me move this around and show you why, because I want that bottom filled. If I don't check fill, I got a hole there, which might be useful for other uh, objects, but not for a coffee cup. So this way I cleared the bottom and fill. I'm going to look at it from the side and I'm going to return to object mode. I'm going to do two more things to this coffee cup before I um, 
move to the handle first of all i'm going to right click and ask it to shade smooth it already looks like one of those really wide coffee cups um i'm also going to change its scale because i think it's a little too short i'm going to keep its x and y scale one but i'm going to make its z scale three i want it nice and tall and that stretches it now it looks a lot more like a you know what i would expect from a coffee cup if i look around this looks a lot more like a coffee cup but i only see one big problem it's actually paper thin i mean it's like it, it has no uh thickness to it so i'm going to add to the coffee cup a modifier and that modifier is called solidify it's in, under generate and solidify has two main um parameters which are the thickness and the offset as i start increasing the thickness step by step you see how it starts building like a thickness like a rim this is also important if you're going to bring it into other software such as uh unity before it had any thickness it was paper thin which means most materials would uh, um, render only on the outside because the inside is not considered you know like a, one of the vertices now it has a thickness so it has it's a double-sided object now the offset is simply is what i'm building going to be on the inside which is negative or on the outside and as i move it to let's say one instead of negative one see how it builds the same thickness only on, only on the outside i actually liked it better when it was on the inside so it doesn't increase the outside size of the cup and that looks pretty good to me i like what i see and i'm going to save and i'm going to call it let's say cup five because i have several of them already um the next step again looking at it from this the side perfectly is to uh, add the handle so for the handle what i'm going to do is start from a shape that was mentioned in a previous tutorial which is called a torus again i'm on object mode add mesh torus torus is basically a donut i'm going to increase um i don't really need to increase the major segments or the minor segments but if i look at it from the above or from the side right now the donut seems to be sitting right on top of the coffee mug but i can see that it's too thick and that it's the inner radius so before i let go i'm going to change i'm going to start clicking i think i'm going to go to like 0.15 that looks good to me that's like the thickness of the handle i'm going to use a segment of that to put here as the handle um i'm also going to right click and shade smooth now i need to more or less put it in place because right now it's not the right orientation or scale or anything the first thing i'm going to do is instead of having it lying down i want it like standing up so that means that i'm going to select it i'm going to go to its properties and give it a uh, not a scale but a rotation x of 90 degrees because it's rotating on its side and then i'm going to look at it this way once i see the donut kind of standing like this i can start using my move tool and very carefully move it until it's attached nicely to the cup like this i like what i see it's a little too big so i can work with the scale x and the scale y and the scale z until i got the scale z is going to be the thickness like the height yeah i want it a little thicker this is like one of those little flat ones and when i move around yep i like what i see um the only problem of course is that there's a huge portion of that torus sticking inside the cup so we're going to go to the tool that we used already in this tutorial which is the bisect tool because i want to cut it right here where it's attached on the outside I'm going to make sure that my torus is selected i'm going to go to edit mode and make sure that everything about the torus is selected again if it isn't if by mistake i clicked somewhere else a selects all of it i'm going to use my bisect tool and i'm going to cut basically along the side of the cup so i'm going to start here and end here even though i know that parts of it are still on the inside but at least the edges of the uh, of the handle are being cut now do i keep the inner or the outer i think it's the uh that i'm going to clear the 
outer i'm not sure but it all it takes is just a click if i click the wrong one i just click the right one i don't need to fill although actually on the inside of the cup no i don't need to fill anything um let's see if i look on the inside of the cup i might still see little bits of you know this let's see fill or not it doesn't make much of a difference um but in any case i got my cup and i got my handle but there's still two different objects um in order to really glue them to one another you know like you know if they were like real ceramics i'm going to go to back to object mode where it already looks pretty good and i'm going to use a modifier that we already used which is the boolean only this time i'm going to union them i'm going to merge them together so i'm going to take the bigger one which is this it's still called sphere but you know soon or later we're going to change its name to cup and i know that i want to attach it to the torus so i'm going to go to um, modifiers i'm going to apply the solidify that i already have and i'm going to add a new modifier i don't like having multiple modifiers that are not applied that's just my uh, strategy so i applied the modifier i have if i'm happy with the way it looks and i'm going to add a modifier under generate called boolean only this time i'm going for the method called union which means what do you want to unionize this with i want to i'm going to take that uh, yeah, eyedropper and i'm going to say i want to unionize it with the torus and now they become basically one object which means if i hid the original torus i would still see the handle because now it's part of the cup now i'm able to apply so now they are really one object, which means I can right click and delete the original torus. And when I turn it around, I got my beautiful cup. And I'm gonna select it and make sure that it is shade smooth. The last step would be adding that little um, plate or saucer, whatever. I'm actually, again, going to be using a sphere and I'm going to cut pieces of it that I need. I'm going to, in object mode, add mesh UV sphere. Let's move it up so we don't have to worry about it. I'm going to switch to, I'm, I'm not even going to change anything about this. I'm going to switch to edit mode, make sure that it's all selected, or otherwise I would press A. And I think what I would do is I want for the um, saucer, I want to keep, uh, let's say, between uh this and this line so i'm going to use my bisect tool and i'm going to cut along this line i'm clicking i'm always going from the outside to the other outside and then to make sure that it's perfectly horizontal before i let go i hold control and make sure that it snaps i'm going to clear the outer so that way i have only that little you know a uh, ball then i'm going to press a again to select everything and using the bisect tool i'm going to cut here again holding control will make sure that it's perfectly um snapping to the grid i'm going to clear the inner but also fill so that way when i turn it around i got myself basically something like this uh, again, it's it has no thickness to it, so I'm going to do two things to it. First of all, I'm going to switch back to object mode. It already looks pretty good, but I'm going to right-click and shade smooth. I'm going to probably change its, um, its uh, scale to be much bigger on the X and Y and a little shorter on the Z. So on the X and Y, I think I'm going to do, let's say, make it two times bigger on the X and the Y. So that it has to be both X and Y, otherwise it wouldn't be, uh, you know, round. And on the Z, actually, it already looks pretty good. Maybe on the Z, I'm going to start making it a little flatter. If I look from the side, decreasing the Z... It brings it closer to its original center, but it also makes it shorter. I like it like that. One more thing that I will do, again, like I mentioned before, this thing 
has no thickness to it although it might look like it's just you know thin but it has no thickness to it so i'm going to use solidify again i'm going to go to uh, add modifier under generate i'm going to click solidify which will add a little bit of thickness to it and it doesn't need to be that much maybe i'll do it on the outside let's say 0 0.5 that looks good to me uh the light looks weird but it would look much better once i uh, bring it down um i'm going to actually bring it to the point where it needs to be let's look at it from the side so it's exactly where it needs to be at this point you can choose if you look at it if you like it with or without the solidify um if i like the solidify i'm going to apply it if i don't like it you know I'm, you know i can uh click the cam uh, is it the camera or uh to hide you know what I, what i've done um i actually liked it before the solidify um where it had no thickness but if i do i would click apply if i don't like it i would just get rid of it and look looking at it from the side looking at the whole thing i got my nice cup of coffee with a saucer and um i can turn it around and you can even see as if you know the it's glued to it i will see you on the next tutorial where we will enhance our skills even more